Hey guys, it's Trevor Daly, and I want to share another quick tip with you in Lightroom, and it's something that has been real popular lately. I saw a lot of this when I was out of WPPI, um, and I was walking through the print competition, which is, again, the, the big annual convention of photographers. Walking through the print competition, I noticed a lot of the prints had kind of these crushed blacks, kind of this um, matte, almost filmy type of look. And I know the film presets are real popular right now. Um, for those who like that look, but maybe just want to create a kind of a more matte, type of look um, and they don't want to have to buy the presets, I'll show you in just a few seconds how quickly and easy it is to do in Lightroom. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this picture right here and we're going to, don't worry about any of this. I see people, they, they'll play with these black and sliders and trying to kind of push those blacks and things like that. Don't even worry about it. We're going to come right down in the tone curve. Okay, now I'm in Lightroom 4, but in the tone curve, you're going to see, see all these lights, highlights, lights, dark shadows, etc. We don't want these. We actually want to click on this little button right down here to edit the point curve. Now, this is going to take us to exactly what curves, kind of how it works in Photoshop. So if any of you are familiar with it there, um, you'll recognize this. If not, I'll give you a quick little tune or, or show you just exactly how it works. All it is, you guys, is if you just click on this line right here, you can either click and drag it up and down. So if I want to bring like my midtones up, I can bring that up or I can bring my midtones down, for example. Um, and then right over here is my shadows and my highlights. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to get rid of that control point is what they're called. And to make that matte look, all I have to do is click somewhere on the tone curve to create kind of an anchor. And then I'm going to grab the shadows here and I'm just going to pull these up, these darks. Okay. Now what I'm doing by doing that is I'm just crushing those blacks. Let me, let me just exaggerate it just to really show this. Okay. You can kind of see what we're doing here. I'm going to pull it back down and right about here. Let's see, right about maybe here, I kind of get that film look. You see that? Um, now I'm going to come back over here and in this section, now I can kind of fine tune that if I would like. I, I tend to like to bring the, the clarity up just a little bit. I love to push the vibrance to really bring out the colors without over exaggerating the skin. So let's just, we'll add some numbers here. Let's just say this is 15, let's say this is 60. All right. And then if I need to, I can push that exposure up just a little bit as well. Okay, so here we are getting that matte look. Now, the only other thing that I might add to this, if I want to add it, kind of make it that film, kind of grain and things like that, is come right down in the effects, click on effects, and right in here, it's probably set at zero, I just pull this grain up. Okay, and let me see, I'm not sure if this will be visible on YouTube or not, but you can kind of see, as I pull that grain up, so here's zero, and if I pull this up, let's say 30, 35, etc., there we go. Now we're getting grain in that picture. So that gives you that film look with some grain. So here's a before. Nice, clean, crisp colors. There's more of that matte look. All right. Here's some more examples real quick. I applied the exact same tone curve. Here's before. Here's after. Here's before. Here's after. Okay. Just a few more. Sunset. There's before the matte look. There's after. There's another one before and after. And again, those all have the exact same tone curve applied. So you can play with that tone curve however you wish. You can you know, adjust this to make it work just for you. I can even delete that control point and just go straight across. Maybe I bring that back in here a little bit more. Maybe I bring those blacks up, you know, even crush them even more. So you can create whatever you like. Now, once you've done that, you guys, once you've done that, if you come right over here to the presets, on the top where it says, uh, there's a plus sign, it says create new preset. If you hover over it, if I click on that, I'm going to come down and add it to whatever folder I wish. I'll just put it right in the user presets, and I'll call this my Matt, uh, let's see, my Matt 2 look, all right? And here, I want to make sure everything's unchecked except tone curve, my clarity, because I pushed that a little bit, my color. It was my vibrance is the main one. I didn't do anything with my saturation and color adjustments, but I mean, you could leave those checked. It wouldn't really matter. And then finally, my effects, okay, because I added some grain. So once I have those checked now, I hit create, and now I just created a preset that I can then apply to any of my future photos. So, for example, if I have a picture, let's, let's just, you know, any picture, now I can just go and click on matte look, or I can sync it across, and I can create that matte or film look on any of my pictures. So hopefully this tip was useful. Here's one more example, you guys. You can see here's, here is before, you kind of see it's a cigar shot, and here is after. You kind of got that matte look. This one would actually look really cool if we just push that clarity even further. Um, so hopefully this was useful, and you guys can apply it to, to your own Lightroom. 
use it to create that matte look if that's something you like and and uh, have fun with your photos. Thanks, guys.